In our lesson today, we're going to apply the properties of integrals in evaluating some integral notation similar to this one. Now, in this given problem, we have two integral notation. The first one is the integral of f of x dx from 0 through a. Now, for this integral notation, it's equal to 37. And for the other integral notation, we have g of x dx from 0 to a, which is now equal to 16. Now, for this problem, we need to find and evaluate the integral from 0 through a of 2 of f of x plus 3 of g of x dx. Now, to apply the integral notation, since this is addition, we can pretty much separate the two terms and evaluate the integral separately. So for the first integral, we have 2 of f of x. Since in our property, we can um, transpose our constant outside the integral symbol. So now we'll have 2 times the integral of f of x dx from 0 through a. And 3 of g of x can be written as 3 of g of x dx from 0 through a. Now, from our given integral notations, we know that this particular function is equal to 37. So we can replace this integral function by 37 because in the given problem, it says here that it's equal to 37. Same goes with the second integral. So since g of x dx from 0 through a is equal to 16, we can change it into 16 and simplify our equations. So now we have 2 times 37 plus 3 times 16, which is equal to 122. And this is how we apply the properties of integration given some problems that is written or presented in this manner. Now for our second set of uh, integral notation that's using the um, properties of integrals in evaluating 1, 2, and 3, we have the first set of integral function, which is f of x dx from negative 1, which is equal to 5. The second set is f of x dx from 1 through 4 is equal to negative 2. And the third set, we have h of x dx from negative 1 to 2, which is equal to 7. Now, for our first integral function, we need to evaluate f of x dx from 4 through 1. Now, notice that our lower limit is actually higher than our upper limit, so therefore, we can apply the property of our integrals by switching the lower and the upper, but making sure that your integral notation is now with a negative sign. So, to evaluate f of x dx from 4 through 1, now you have negative of f of x dx from, negative, from positive 1 through positive 4. And from the given problem, we know that this integral function is simply equal to negative 2. So now we have 1 times negative 2, which is equal to positive 2. So that means f of x dx from 1 to 4 is equal to positive 2. And for the second problem, we have the integral of f of x dx from negative 1 to 4. Now, on our given inter integral functions, there is no integration here with an interval of negative 1 to 4. However, since the first set and the second set is from negative 1 to 1 and 1 to 4, we can combine them together to create this particular integral. So, now we have negative 1 through 1, f of x dx being added to f of x dx from 1 to 4, which is similar to this particular integral function. So we just apply the addition or the subtraction property of integration to create our two integral values. Now, since f of x dx from negative 1 to 1 is equal to 5, and f of x dx from 1 to 4 is equal to negative 2, by simplifying your function, we know that this problem right here is simply equal to positive 3. Now, for the last example, we need to evaluate f of x dx from 0 to 1. Now, obviously, there is no integral here with an interval from 0 to 1. So, therefore, because of that, we don't have enough information to answer problem number 3. Therefore, we're not going to be able to evaluate the last set of integration.